Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel for part 2 of our Let's Play The Sims 2 Pleasant View. So, today, previously I just posted part 1 where we introduced ourselves to Don Lotharia. So if you have not seen that one, go ahead and check that one out. Probably before you start this one, you know, let's just, let's do things in order so we can keep up. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the Caliente Sisters household. I have an idea of the way I want to do this. For my stories and my plans to play out, you know. So next up on our list is the Caliente sisters, the iconic Caliente. Ooh, sisters. <laughs> so their bio says, was it just coincidence that the Caliente sisters arrived on the eve of Bella's disappearance? And is their interest in Mortimer physical or fiscal? High school, high school, how do you say that? I don't know. We know I don't know how to read. So anyway, let's go ahead and see what they're up to. All right, so here we are with the sisters. And it says, Dina Caliente's digging for gold and she wants to lay a claim on Mortimer. Don't waver him to make the big move. Be aggressive. <laughs> All right, so here we are with the sisters and there's Mortimer coming on over. All right, so here we are with Miss Dina and... Miss Nina, which we, you know, we, we, we got a little bit, uh, acquainted with Nina in the first part when she came over to Don's, but this is their condo. They live right next door to Don Lothario, so let's go ahead and have a little tour. If you have not watched my recreation, go ahead and check it out, but here is their living room, kitchen and dining area. This is, um, Dina's bedroom, their bathroom, and this is Nina's bedroom. And then upstairs, they have their little hot tub and their little party area and this little balcony out here. All right, so let's go ahead and look into the sisters' personalities, their wants, and all of that sorts of thing. Let's get to know them a little bit. So, Dina, her wants is to make drinks, marry a rich sim. Okay. She wants to kiss Mortimer and earn some money. Her fears is to get rejected for engagement by Mortimer at Repo Man and have something stolen okay <laughs> let's see her relationships she's not very close with her sister which is interesting i actually forgot I, I would think that they were close but maybe i never realized before i just forgot but that's interesting that they're not close really at all um she is in love is she with mortimer goth and she is, you know, crushing, got an affair going on with Don Lothario, as we, we filmed that out the last part, you know, hold on. And then she's, um, eh, she's acquaintances, I guess you would say, with Brandy Broke. Alright, so she is unemployed, she's got some skill in the charisma, one little skill in creativity. Um, she is a Sagittarius. Her bio says, It is often said that Dina has a mind of her own, but she is quick to disagree. She likes chocolate and dreams of making it big. <laughs> so yeah, here's her little personality here. Alright, and then this is her interest. So we see she's very interested in money. She's interested in entertainment and fashion. She's into that Gucci lifestyle <laughs> traveling and she's also interested in sci-fi and paranormal which is interesting you know mm -hmm. lots of theories surrounding these girls and the disappearance of Bella all right so we have no hobby enthusiasm obviously all right so let's go to her memories just memories of her growing up well um, I guess this is her parents dying grew up well made best friends with Michael which by the way Michael mm-hmm down here this is michael's urn michael michael bachelor i don't know if y'all remember this so much drama but michael bachelor is bella's brother if you guys remember from the sims 3 when bella was a child remember her brother mm -hmm. michael he was a teenager yep so mm -hmm. she was married to freaking bella's brother and now she's trying to get married to her husband interesting interesting so there we have her kissing michael for the first time falling in love with michael um, getting engaged, getting married, woohooing with Michael. And uh, then she started to have an affair with Don. There was a burglar, and Michael died. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if something happened, you know, when the burglar killed him. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, inherited money from Michael. Um, 
her turn-ons. Oh, I forgot to look at Dawn's turn-ons, didn't I? I sure did. She likes creative sims and sims that are good at cleaning. <laughs> she does not like stink, which I don't think any of us do, sister. Um, their family tree is interesting. Um, well, it's not going to show it, but... Or does it? No. Anyways... I thought it was in their family tree, but they're related to aliens. They're like an alien-human hi hybrid thing. I, I could have freaking sworn that that was in the bio. Oh, yeah, here it is. Pollination Technician 7. See, I knew it. It's her father. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so they do have relation. Like, they are, like, part alien in a sense so they have like connections to the alien you know sci-fi paranormal stuff so that's interesting considering she freaking married was married to bella's brother and then you know what i believe they you know used dawn to get her and lure her over for her to be abducted so she could get her hands on on mortimer i that's just what i think <laughs> Alright, and so let's go ahead and look at Miss Nina over here. Her wants is to woohoo in bed. She wants to woohoo in a hot tub. Okay, girl. And she wants to get a job in the slacker career. So we'll go ahead and save that because I think one of them definitely need a job. <laughs> um, her fears is to get rejected for a flirt by Dawn, to get fat, and to get rejected for a woohoo. Same with her sister. Not a very good relationship. She is actually, what is this? What, is, what does that mean again? Oh, she has poor chemistry with Mortimer. Oh, mm, okay. Well, that's interesting. Well, at least they have, okay, they like one man. A lot of chemistry with one, but then she does, mm, okay, well, I guess, okay. <laughs> oh my, there's so much drama, I can't even deal. Okay, and so she's in love with Dawn, and she's, okay, friends with Brandy Broke. She's unemployed. She's kind of got a little bit of body, not much cleaning. Um, her turn on is cologne, mechanical, and her turn off is gray hair. Okay, so she doesn't like old men. That's it. That's why she has poor chemistry with Mortimer. She's like, ew. <laughs> um, she is a Scorpio. Her bio says she's de deeply connected to her Mediterranean roots. Wait, what? Nina likes to exercise, and she likes bread pudding, okay? That is her personality. So, she's interested in money. Oh, okay, I didn't see her being interested in money, but okay. Interested in money, interested in food, fashion, sports, sci-fi, animals. Okay, we could get them. Um, does she like animals? Yeah, we can get them a pet. That's what we can do. Um, okay, let's look at her memories. Let's see. Memories of her just growing up well. Had her first kiss with Dawn. Family members started dying. She fell in love with Dawn. She seen Dina get engaged and her get married. Um, okay, so she got a job, but then she got fired from her job. There was a burglar. Michael died. Made out with Dawn. The repo man came. She had her very first woohoo with Dawn. Oh, so that was their, maybe, was that their first time at his house just a second ago? Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. I forgot to look at the story mode at Dawn's, but let's look at their story mode. Because these are important to their memories, and oh, I wish I would have freaking looked at Dawn's. We're going to have to look at his when we go back into his household later. But, um, yeah, it looks like this is them as babies with their parents. Um, oh, she looks neglected. I wonder, I wonder what's up there. And then here she is getting married to Michael. So she just has a thing for older guys. And looks like Nina is not happy. Maybe she's jealous of her. I don't know. They just, they don't have a good relationship. So that's interesting. What do y'all think? Oh, and here comes the burglar. Oh, she's like, hey, you know what I'm here for? Um, mm -hmm. And there they are. That's where it all begins. So, yeah, that's their story mode. That's their little memories, pictures type deal. Um, all right. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump on into their gameplay. All right. So, let's go ahead and, of course, have her. Oh, they're arguing. What are they arguing about? 
Is she calling her out? Is she calling her out? Or do they just... I don't think they know what's going on with Dawn. I don't think they know that yet. They haven't been caught, so that can't be what they're arguing about. But, whatever. Screw you. Let's come down here and greet Mortimer before he runs off. I mean, we are trying to, uh, get him wrapped around our finger, you know? So, let's just... Let's, let's put him first, okay? Come on, girl. And she's like, screw you. I'm getting in the hot tub, and I'm gonna relax. Alright, so... Freaking Mr. Humble, I'm, I, I can already tell you I'm going to sick of seeing you around here. <laughs> Alright, so, ooh, okay. Here they are. Here they are, getting down to it already. So, let's have her... She can go ahead and propose to him if she wanted to, but we're not going to do that right away. Let's hold hands with him. Let's just go ahead and get flirty with him. What is what is this? Get a job in the adventure career? Okay, well, if y'all want jobs, we can do that. But, I, you know, I don't see her, actually. It's interesting that she wants a job, but I just don't see her having a job. Uh, I just, I don't. <laughs> I see her definitely trying to get in, get in his pants get in his wallet and you know have that bougie status of being a god so yeah oh my god i thought she was i thought she was rearing back to slap the hell out of him i got that girl that that's that is not the way to go <laughs> oh my god all right so anyways she's still up here chilling let's have her come over here and make some drinks she's gonna make some poured drinks i guess she's gonna be nice and make some for everybody or maybe just more for herself <laughs> okay so let's have them come down here which i think it's kind of weird that she still has his urn sitting out like if i was mortimer you know that would kind of concern me honestly but i mean i don't know let's I wonder if we can have them woohoo. Let's see. Let's have her come up here and relax in the bed and see if we can ask him to join us. I don't know if, if, if that'll work. Why didn't you go through that door? I don't know. Okay. Alright, so let's have her get in her little wild cheetah bed and come down here and is it an option to ask him to join us? Maybe not. Wait, what are you doing? Moving where? No, we're not trying to move and do all of that. We're trying to come over here and freaking... What the hell? I want him to join us in the bed, but apparently that's not an option because the game's determined for me to freaking do it their way. So, you know what? You know what? You know what? We're just going to go ahead and... Should we... Should we go ahead and propose, y'all? I don't know. I don't know. I think I think she's going to go for it, honestly. I really do see her going for it. Let's have her change into her everyday wear. Let's get out of our bikini girl. Let's, that's not appropriate to be professing your love and telling somebody you would like to marry them or propose an engagement because I don't definitely don't think that Mortimer would propose to him. Um, you know, I think he's in love with Bella still and he misses his wife. Um, so, I don't know, I just, I don't see him really wanting to get married again, but just, you know, this young foxy lady here is just, you know, keeping him company and helping him through the bad time, so, let's have them cuddle, have her, you know, warm up to him. Um, okay, she needs a shower or a bath or whatever, so let's have her come up here and take a bubble bath. Alright, so... That's so awkward looking. Let's have them make out, I guess. I don't know. I guess. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's so awkward. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, things in The Sims 2 are wild as hell. Look at them, son. You know, wait, it's so PG. So PG. <laughs> in The Sims 4. I mean, have y'all noticed that in The Sims 4 they don't have tongues? But if you get, like, real close, you can see, like, there's tongues in The Sims 2 and Sims 3. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Ugh, they get wild. They get wild. Alright, so, yeah, we're gonna have her just, you know, oh, come on, guys. Wrap it up. I mean, dig them. Alright, so she's up here thinking about, like, going steady. She just really really just loves Dawn, you know, she, he was her first kiss, and I just see, there actually is in their, like, wiki history, you can actually see, like, theories and stuff, and apparently, 
they were childhood friends growing up. So maybe she has been in love with him for for a very long time since they were kids, which is kind of like sweet and sad at the same time because she doesn't even know. She does not even know. All right. So anyways. Yeah, I think she's just going to go ahead and go for it. Um, I'm, I'm sure he's going to say yes. Wait. No. Let's... No more cuddle. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. You can get off. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's enough. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. They're killing me. Let's get up. All right. So, let's see if we can go ahead and propose an engagement. She's just going to go for it. Let's see. Oh, okay, so he said yes. She just has completely convinced him that she is good for... <laughs> <laughs> get engaged he's like okay bye see you later <laughs> oh god okay, i gotta go tell my family like what the hell all right so they both okay <laughs> they're reacting to their engagement he's dipped out but she is ecstatic she has convinced him that she is good for him that she can take care of him and that bella is not coming back and that you know what maybe it's fate Maybe it's fate, you know, that she actually met ba uh, Michael Bachelor, and, you know, maybe meeting Bachelor was the way that she was going to meet Mortimer, and she knew that she was in love with Mortimer when she met Michael, you know, that she just knew there was a chemistry there, and, you know, he is just very, you know, sensitive and vulnerable at this time, you know, just because he's lost his wife that, you know, just having somebody there to, like, lean on and, you know, get freaky with to, you know, make him feel better. He's definitely just like, yes, yes, let's get married. And I'm not really sure how Cassandra is going to feel about it. We'll have to find out in the next part when we play with the gods. But needless to say, um, Dina's pretty, pretty thrilled with herself, I believe. So let's have her come over here and serve some mac and cheese, I guess. I mean, these people don't know how to cook. <laughs> they have no skills. All right, so she does want a career... In the slacker career so I think that that would be good for her to have a career we need some income so where is that newspaper isn't that how we do careers around here so let's come over here and find a job y'all there are some really good freaking careers in the sims 2 that we don't have in the sims 4 and even in the sims 3 I just I don't get it I don't get it why can't they they should use the same things that we have in each game pack and just expand on it and make it better don't take anything out <laughs> Just don't do it. I don't get it. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, let's have her go inside and see if we can find a career in the or a job in the slacker career. Which what even is the slacker career? Because sign me up. Law enforcement? No. Look again. Entertainment? Nope. Oh no! Slacker career. Take job. Four a.m. Oh hell. Oh my god, girl. Girl. Oh no. How do we do this? Do we have to call the fire department? I don't know. How do, how do you do this? Um call emergency. Let's let's come over here. Hurry, 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 hurry. And let's call the fire department. I think is that what you do? I don't remember. Yes, fire station. Hurry. <laughs> Hang on. We're on our way. Please be careful and stay away from the fire. Stay away from the fire. Yeah, she's going to stand right there by it. Okay. <laughs> and don't y'all miss these services? You know, the fireman coming to save the day? I do. Oh, okay. You fail. You fail. I mean, going to tell Mortimer you can take care of him when evidently your ass was lying because you can't. All right, so let's have her get the mac and cheese. Okay, so it is burn as hell, but it looks like she's going to serve it and eat it anyways. Whatever floats your boat. And she's back up here taking another bath because... <sighs> I mean, she just took one, but I mean, whatever. Whatever. 
Okay, so, yeah, that's oh, that's nasty, huh? I'm sure it is. Yeah, but for I love how she was just telling Mortimer she could take care of him. She don't even know how to make macaroni and cheese. At Carissa, that is me. That is, oh, that is, that is creepy as hell. I, I hate those paintings. But yeah, that's me, y'all. I hate to cook. I can't cook worth the crap. My poor boyfriend, my poor family one day. And I like to eat. I'm just, I'm lazy, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I don't like to cook. Um, okay, so anyway, she's thinking about Mortimer. Let's have her, well, is she out of the bed yet? Alright, anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get them ready for bed. Oh, 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 God! Okay, so... Um, I have her on the phone with Don, and I, I mean, I low-key knew that the burglar was coming, but I didn't know he was coming so soon, and I didn't know he was going to come when she was awake, so, um, <laughs> let's get off the phone, oh my god, how scary, how scary, would you like to play this like, no. No, I want to call 911 because, I mean, we're right here in the other room. Oh, God. Hurry. This is honestly terrifying. Hurry, 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 hurry. He doesn't even know she's in here. Police station. Hurry. We're going to bust him. We're going to do it. Burglars can be dangerous. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yeah. They can be dangerous. So, maybe they did kill Michael. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's follow. Let's follow him. Okay, um, he's up here trying to steal, oh, come on, he's up here, he's getting away, twat, you're not doing crap, Dibby, oh crap, oh, hold on, hold on, I'm missing it, oh crap, I'm sorry, alright, so she's like fighting with him, and they are just unfazed, not concerned, <laughs> okay, watch her lose the fight, watch her lose the fight, and then we're, he's gonna take our stuff and get away. Okay, come on, girl. Yeah, yeah, you doing it, you doing it, you got it, you got it. Yes, yes, good. That's what I like to see, Demi. All right, so you can go ahead and give us, give us our hot tub back, Mr. Gordon. A little twat. All right, so, yeah, she is a golf caddy, so she has to go to work and at 5 a.m., so very, very soon. And I really hate burglars. <laughs> they kind of are like an inconvenience, the fact that they would take your sim stuff. But it's just, it just adds so much to the game. And why don't we have it anymore? I don't know. All right. So, look, like, just look at her putting him in the car. Like, just so realistic. I mean, come on, people. This is the stuff that we need to see. All right. So, I'm pretty sure one of them needs to wake up and talk to this here lady or she's going to come in here and say something to us. Something like that, right? <laughs> Looks like it, but they're just, they're sleeping away. They are just completely not concerned. Or maybe she's just checking to see what's, what's going on. No, looks like she's coming over here. The burglar has been caught. Insurance will cover the stolen goods for a total of 5525 Well, I thought that they would, um, she's just happy that she got some money back. But I thought that it would show back up in our inventory, but mm, I guess not. So, okay. Let's go ahead and just get us another hot tub, right? How much are they? 6000 Oh, shoot. That takes all of our money. Are you kidding me? I mean, what? You couldn't give us our hot tub back? What is this? Active ingredients. What? Why, what? Okay, I'm concerned. I don't remember what that is. Yeah, okay, she wants to buy another hot tub. I'm sure you do. That's bullcrap. They should, they, she caught him. I don't know how he would steal that big ass thing anyways, honestly, but so I guess some everything can't be realistic. Alright, go back to bed. You're good. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this part up here. I hope you enjoyed our little our little encounter with the Caliente sisters. Um, I'm having so much fun, y'all, <laughs> with this series. I love it so much. So, yeah, if you have any suggestions, anything that you want to see in their lives, go ahead and just 
comment down below and let me know and yeah we'll see you next week we will be playing with the goth family um so yeah stay tuned i will see you guys later